continued relentless attacks on the upcoming DCU and everything James Gunn is creating is still in full force. Uh, whether it is from the diehard Snyderverse fans or just the angry scoopers who James Gunn called out not long ago, well, it seems there is a strange vendetta against the newly established DCU. And really, it seems like they just want to see it fail for no other reason than because they're not getting what they want or that they just have this strange anger towards James Gunn. Just a couple days ago, really, uh, The Hollywood Reporter unveiled and revealed that the DC Studios is going to be moving forward with development on 18 titans movie which i think is a really cool idea i think it's great that we're going to see a live action version of the teen titans uh which i think is gonna be great yeah people are gonna sit there oh we had titans over on on uh max or on dc universe whatever you want to call it when that unveiled but it wasn't the teen titans this is gonna be teen titans which is kind of exciting now, it is being scribed. It is going to be written by Anna Nagur. Yeah, I can't say last words. Last words are difficult. But she is the one who also wrote uh, Supergirl Woman of Tomorrow for DC Studios. That is the upcoming movie that is going to have Millie Acock as the lead. And this is where things started to get a little, a little dicey when it comes to everything. Uh, you see... Grace Randolph, who is not above the controversy on YouTube, she's the one who kind of runs her little YouTube channel called Beyond the Trailers. Uh, she had to jump over onto X, onto Twitter, and this was shortly after the announcement of this movie, and she had to go and start on a little tirade of her own. And, well... She had to say why this movie isn't going to work. And she goes, what is the plan here? She goes, Teen Titans have already been done in animation and live action, which in animation, yes, a plethora of times. And mind you, in animation, it has been wildly, wildly successful because they've done multiple animation uh, series with Teen Titans, all of them very successful, specifically Teen Titans Go, so successful that they've made multiple movies out of the Teen Titans Go franchise. And with live action, they've made Titans, but not Teen Titans. Uh, it is slightly different. Yes, they, they've been younger, but they made it more adult. And here's the thing. I don't think they're going for that adult audience with this, but we'll get into that in a second. She goes, I'm not saying some DC fans won't be interested, but I don't think this would have the broad appeal. Okay. And she goes, and as usual, DC fans claim they're interested. You better show up the theater this time. All right, look. My question to her would be, what is the reasoning for these comments? She truly has no idea what the overall picture of the DCU is right now. Yes, she claims to be a scooper duper. She always likes to say she has the tea for what she's doing, but... We know that James Gunn has squashed that with her, just as he squashed it with other grifters on the internet. So we know for a fact that she doesn't really have the tea when it comes to DC films. So moving on with that, what is she getting out of this? Why does she have to bring this up? Like I just said a little bit ago, the, the Teen Titans are wildly successful, specifically with the younger generations. I know kids, or not kids, but I know people in my generation who loved the Teen Titans when I was younger. So if you're going to go after that generation, you're going to have people my age who are going to be interested in a Teen Titans movie. Add to that my children who watch Teen Titans Go. Add to that children even younger than that who are going to be interested in Teen Titans movie. So... As she says, I'm not some, saying some DC fans would, but I don't think it would have broad appeal. What she doesn't understand is the DCEU didn't have broad appeal because it didn't have a direction. There was no direction with the DCEU. 
you had Man of Steel, BVS, Wonder Woman, and then it just kind of went all over the place. They didn't know, do we want to be hardcore and edgy and cool? Do we want to be mopey and emo? Do we want to be bright colors? Do we want to be like MCU? Do we want to be, you know, gangsterish? Do we want to do that? Like, they didn't know what they wanted to be. The DCU has two people in charge. Unlike the DCEU, who had a plethora of people in charge, it had more people in charge, and it wasn't even anybody who was in charge. They just didn't know. Nobody knew who was in charge. You have two people in charge who are leading this ship. They know what they want to do. They know what they're doing. They understand how they're uh, attacking this universe. So she needs to chill out. That's, that, that's kind of what it comes down to. And for somebody who's supposed to understand the movie industry, for somebody who's supposed to, who's been doing this for, what, 10 years now she's been doing this, you would think that she would understand, like, huh, maybe we should understand, maybe I should, uh, you know, not say something that is this idiotic. Perhaps. Perhaps she would do that. But no, no, she has to go full-blown attack on James Gunn and DC Studios, which is really idiotic of her. It is really dumb because these unnecessary attacks on DC Studios right now is only furthering the divide of the brand, of the fandom, I should say, not the brand, but of the fandom. And that's a problem. It's not fun being a fan of DC. It is not fun. And the point of it being a fan is to help bring more fans into the brand. That, that's the fun. And nobody wants to come be a fan of a brand where the fandom is just constantly at each other's throats and fighting. And she's not helping it. And that's, that's the problem I have with comments and, and, and things like this. Let's face it. She has not seen a single minute of anything DC Studios, DCU related. She hasn't. I haven't. Nobody has. So to sit there and act like, what's the broad appeal here? We don't know. Nobody knows what the broad appeal is because we don't know where they're heading with it. But think about it for a second. Like, really, really, let's, let's, let's break this down like I just did. You have generations, 20 years of people who have enjoyed Teen Titans in some form or fashion. That's the appeal. That's where people are going to be enjoying it. It comes down to this. It, this is where it really comes down to. If you're somebody who has enjoyed DC in the past or is a fan of the brand, you need to sit back and relax a bit. If you're somebody who doesn't really enjoy DC, why comment on it? I don't think Grace Randolph even cares about DC. I don't. I think she just wants to talk to hear her voice. And I think all she's looking for is clicks She's a grifter. She's one of the worst grifters out there. All she wants to do is get clicks and get that income coming in. And that's all she wants. And, and it's not good for, for, for us, for fans. But I think f as fans, we need to just sit back, relax. James Gunn, Peter Safran, they're in the midst of cooking up something new. A new franchise. They're building for the DCU. That's what they're doing right now. That's what they're doing. And none of us, none of us know exactly what's going to come. We don't know how it's going to turn out. But here's the thing. The best thing for us to do is have, the best thing for us to do is have just, just a little hope. Just a little hope. Because the future of DC films has never been brighter. Let me know your thoughts on all this. Let me know what you think of what Grace Randolph is saying here about Teen Titans. Are you excited about a Teen Titans live action movie? Are you excited about that? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. With all that said, I'll catch you all later.